Hello, this is an instructional math video for Math 152. This is Tyler Beamer at Haywood Community College. I wanted to show you how to compute a five number summary um, on Excel. Um, what I have here is a data set of female pulse rates. Um, I've got the data from our text. Um, I've got ages and I have pulse here in the, this column. And then what I have done is I have basically taken the data and I've sorted it. Um, I'll show you how to do that real quickly. Uh, let me just redo this. I'll take out this data. <clears throat> so highlight it, delete it. Okay, and then I'm going to essentially just copy and paste it over into a new column. There we go. That way I don't lose my um, ordered pairs here with ages and pulse. Um, and then I'm going to highlight the data in this new column. And then I'm going to go over here to home and then sort and filter. And I'm going to sort it in ascending order, so smallest to largest. And so there I've got my data sorted. So that's how you can sort a, a list of data. Um, that's really helpful when doing percentiles. Um, and that's also helpful when finding the median as well. Um, however, Excel will um, compute a median. Um, we're going to do a five number summary here. So I've got a min, I've got the first quartile, so Q1, um, second quartile, which is the median, and third quartile, and max. So the first quartile is the 25th percentile, um, second quartile is the 50th percentile, third quartile is the 75th percentile. So we're essentially quartering up our data. So if I've got my sorted list, I can easily find the min and the max. And I could put those in to my five number summary. Okay. Um, and then if I want to find the first quartile, okay, so click on the cell that I want to put that in. Um, go up here to our function um, bar. Start with equals. And then start typing quartile and you'll see our options come up. Now Excel has a, a couple of different ways that I could do quartile. I think the best way to do quartile is with the quartile exclusive um, and it gives you a little um, description here to the right. Returns the quartile of a data set based on percentile values from 0 to 1 exclusive. So basically it's going to exclude the median when it's finding the first and the third quartile. Um, I think for industry standards that's probably the best practice. Um, however, you also have inclusive which would include the mean when finding quartiles. So I would say for this class we would do it exclusive here. Um, so click on that, double click on it, um, and then highlight the data. So I could do the sorted data list or I could do the unsorted. That really doesn't matter in, in this particular um, situation since I'm going to have Excel do this for me anyways. If I was going to do it by hand I would definitely want the data to be sorted. Um, so then I'm going to do a comma and then it's going to ask me which quartile I want first, second, or third. So if I want the first I would hit a number one in the parentheses and then hit enter. So that gives me the first quartile which is here in my cell then I go do the second quartile. I basically repeat that process, um, making sure that I do the same one that I did for the first quartile exclusive. Highlight the data again, comma, and in this case, since I want the median or second quartile, I'm going to press two in parentheses, enter, um, and then for the third quartile repeat that process but I will do third quartile so I'll do comma 
three. Okay. All right. Then I have a five number summary. Okay. Um, this is the output from the descriptive statistics that I ran um, using the data analysis, and that will give me the, the median. That will also give me the min and the max, but it will not give me the first and third quartile. So you'll need to use that feature in Excel in order to complete the five number summary. So I hope you find this video helpful. Um, have a great day.